27, 1998. Severe thunderstorms began moving into the triad late in the afternoon. Julie Sellers was home with her six-year-old son when her husband called from Statesville to warn her of a bad storm heading toward Clemens. As I was fixing dinner, I noticed that um, the trees back behind us, they're huge oak trees. The wind was blowing so hard that they were almost bent to the ground. Just 10 minutes had passed since Jim's call. The skies turned black and the winds began to roar. Julie Sellers grabbed her six-year-old son and took shelter under a table saw in the basement. For 30 long seconds, they rode out the whirling chaos of twisting debris. Then abruptly, the wind stopped. When I turned around and looked to the top of the stairs, um, there was no roof. The cellars were not hurt, but the home was badly damaged. Just up the road, a neighboring home was destroyed with the family inside. So I could see lightning uh, streaks and bolts bouncing all over the backyard, and then a uh, hail started falling. The storm hit as the Lau family was getting ready for dinner. Martha Lau fled to the basement with her husband and two young daughters, but she turned back to grab Shepard, the family dog. We were heading toward the basement steps, and the house exploded. The tornado hit their home with winds approaching 200 miles per hour, sweeping Martha Lau into the air. At that particular moment when I went up with Shepard in my arms, I was, of course, thinking, this is how I'm going to die. I could see the washing machine and different things from the house going around me. Immediately after that, boom, I mean, it was just a tremendous thud when we fell down. Lau landed in her yard not far away, the storm still raging around her. The rest of the family was trapped under a house reduced to rubble. Miraculously, they were safe and sound. They were buried um, in the corner of the basement. A mattress had fallen across my girls, who were six and three at the time. And my husband was near that, and they were in the only corner there that did not collapse. Lau suffered cuts and bruises, but was otherwise okay. Both the sellers and the Laos decided to stay, rebuilding their homes, rebuilding their lives. They remain here 17 years later, perhaps a little more attentive to the weather and with a renewed appreciation for what's most important. I mean, your life can change in an instant. And so that's why they call it a present, I guess, the present, because it's a gift.